So, wow. Um, a, a while ago, I wrote uh, a post that I, I put up on Facebook. And, you know, for those who don't know, I, I maintain, try to maintain a weekly blog post where I write about just whatever. Sometimes it's short stories. Sometimes it's nonsensical words that are floating around in my head that I need to kind of flesh out. Um, I, I've kind of decided to pick up writing as a, uh, as a thing. Um, not something that I'm necessarily going to do something with in my life, but I could eventually. Right now, I'm just kind of stretching the muscle, see how well I can do. But I, I wrote this post that I put up on Google, uh, Google Plus for uh, you know all the tech savvy people out there who are awesome on Google Plus, and I also put it on Facebook, and I I, I think I linked to it on Twitter. Um, but I, I, just, I think it lends itself more to a voice than to just words on a page. So I kind of want to read this for you. Uh, it's, it's about writing and about creative writing and about what creative writing comes from. And to those who actually read it on Facebook or Google+, Plus, I, I promise that my, my voice probably will lend a little bit more credence to it. And to those who haven't already read it, then, you know, it's, it's short and it's sweet. Uh, but it, it's really my my personal beliefs on on writing so here we go uh i and and so many other people i know who who write creatively we we got into it for the same reasons and we we began writing as a as a form of expression you know like a, a way to just release up pent up emotions and explore alternate ideas and it was really you know to, to clear out the cobwebs to to deal with just what was going on uh, it was you know our way of coping, and for, for the average person, that's where it stops. They'll write, they'll write once every few months, or you know sometimes every few years, and they write not because they want to, but because they need to. It, it's it's how they deal with, it's how they deal with things, uh, cleaning out the cobwebs every so often and just putting them on a page. Um. To write more often than that, it gets a lot harder uh, for, for a few reasons. It's uh, First off, it's a discipline, and it, it, it doesn't come easy to anyone. And I'm sure there's one or two people out there who just were able to pen entire novels without breaking a sweat and needed no editing. But those are, you know, it's the same kind of person who can learn piano in a day. That's not people. Those are, you know, just single points outside the spectrum. Um, but I, writing is a discipline. Uh, it, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of practice to be able to write more often than you regularly do. Uh, and, but the thing is, and nobody tells you this part, is that sometimes it hurts. And it hurts a lot. Uh, when, when you're just writing to clear the cobwebs, you know, that's fine, but once they're gone, once the you know those present issues that are just kind of picking at your brain are gone, that's that's when you have to start the heavy lifting. Uh, the emotions and problems you thought you had been dealing with before are they're still there. You know you, you got rid of just the excess noise, but they're still there. Uh, the only thing you've been cleaning out was just the the residue of, of that buildup, that emotional buildup. So I mean that mess is still there and. It's what you have to work with if you ever want to get anything done, uh, and and done properly. Because uh, you you write what you know, and in the end, it, it can hurt a lot. Uh, you have to you have to sift through all these things, and somehow come to grips with unpacking your life experience and carving out the details and and using the shell of of your emotional baggage, and, and you know cleaning out your own little details of. Oh, this is my ex-girlfriend, or this is some person who hurt me, or this is some terrible thing that happened in my life. You have to take out the specifics there and keep that emotion and take that shell of the story and mold it and shape it into, into fiction. Um, and it'll make you a much more efficient writer in the end, but, but sometimes it means dealing with your skeletons that you thought you had buried a long time ago. Um... So just, I mean, remember, if you're reading something, if you're reading something that somebody has written, the author had to live through that in, in some way. The, the author was, the, the author, 
that's part of their life experience. It's almost impossible to write on emotion you've never felt. So when you're reading something about heartbreak or about anger or even about happiness and and delight and it moves you, remember that the author had to live through that. It's something that is part of their personal experience or their life and that they've had the strength and the courage to shape that for you and, and, and offer it up just, just for you. Um, and this is, you know, for me, like, I don't make any money on, on what I write. I make about a, like a buck a post on my own blog, and that's nothing. I don't care. I, I like writing, and I like people to read. And, you know, it would be great if I could turn that into a career, but I'm not planning on it anytime soon. Uh, but, you know, the, the, that's crack to any author. It, it's not the money. It's readers. It's having people read. So just keep that in mind, like the, they, they are hollowing out their own life experience and fictionalizing it and sometimes not fictionalizing it. Sometimes, you know, when people write memoirs that are crazy, but you know, they're, they're hollowing out their own life experience and putting it up into the public eye because they want people to, to see it. Um, so when you, when you meet somebody who tells you, who tells you that they write, uh, especially somebody who writes a lot, like, you know, maybe. I, you see me in a bar and I'm actually often writing in bars I love writing in crowded bars um, you know somebody who writes and you know it, whenever I talk to people and they see me writing they ask me what I'm doing and inevitably I tell them you know I'm writing and I do a weekly blog blah 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 whatever uh, I've garnered probably maybe two readers that way and I've had the conversation a hundred times but I've garnered maybe two readers that way and it's okay because you know for me it's worth it for those two readers because readers are crack so if I just get two little bits of crack that's great um, but when you meet those people who are really trying to write who are pushing themselves to write a lot and write creatively um, just give them a hug because they they probably need it um, but that, that, that's all, so thank you.